We got about a foot and a half of snow and it is still snowing. really slushy. Whew. I'm gonna take my time so I don't fall. <laughs> fall and break a hip or something. Whew. did another little mini grocery haul. The kids made a list of what they wanted to prepare for the weekend because Ken and I are going to Boston. So they're making fried chicken and it was 99 cents a pound. I thought it was a good value. And it's gonna be the kids, my brother, one of his friends and two or three cousins. So I got three chickens and I had to pick up a few extra potatoes so they can make baked potatoes, the twice baked potatoes. I need to make some lemon bars today. Picked up some lemons, garlic, and I switched my menu plan. We had cheeseburgers last night and we're gonna do the orange chicken this evening. So I picked up um, some mushrooms and snow peas. I have a red bell pepper in the fridge I need to use, so I'm just gonna saute up a few veggies um, with some green onions. Uh, I got some lettuce. The blueberries were two for $5. They look really good, so I just picked those up. As far as dairy, I got a couple gallons of milk, uh, light cream, and two containers of buttermilk. They'll use one for making the fried chicken, and then I was um, just needing to replace this one in the fridge. All right, guys, I'm gonna get ready and make those lemon bars. This is my favorite recipe I've ever tried, and I've been making this particular recipe for years and years. It's so good. I made some lemon bars. I've been making this recipe for years. It has a short bread crust and wonderful lemon filling, and it has powdered sugar sprinkled on top. It's a delicious recipe, guys. It's a keeper for sure. For the short bread crust, you'll need two sticks of butter, two cups of flour, a half a cup of sugar and a pinch of salt. And we're just gonna mix this just till it comes together. We're 
we're just gonna pack it in. You can even use your hand to press the dough in place. Once you press it, it just comes together. And then just take a fork and dock the dough. Make sure you have the dough come up the sides so it can accommodate the filling. We have the oven preheated at 350 and we're gonna go ahead and put this in there for 15 to 20 minutes. We just wanna give it a good head start. I cooked the crust for 20 minutes and now I'm just gonna let it cool while I get the filling put together. The filling is super simple. Six eggs, three cups of sugar, one cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and then the zest from the lemons, a cup of flour. So I'm just gonna add the lemon juice and get this all mixed together. And then all we need to do is just fill our crust with our filling. We're gonna put this back into the preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. It's been 35 minutes, we just took it out of the oven and we're just gonna sprinkle the top with a little bit of powdered sugar and then we're just gonna let this cool completely. Probably just a couple tablespoons full. All right, we'll let it cool. Here's the lemon bars. I couldn't wait till they completely cooled. I was a bad girl and I cut it. These are delicious. I've been making this recipe for years and years and years. This is a keeper. I really tried super hard not to cut the lemon bars when they were still warm couldn't resist but if you have the strength to wait until they're completely cool the edges come out really crisp and they're really pretty I just got a phone call and my eye doctor just called me my glasses are finally here I ordered them just before Christmas I ordered two pairs of regular glasses and a pair of sunglasses and the reason I did that was because I got a great deal. The first pair was full price, the second pair was 50% off, and then the third pair was 75% off. And then on top of that, they gave me a senior discount of 15%. And they had a 10% uh, further discount if I paid for them in full before the end of the year, which I did, so I got 10% more off. When it was all said and done, I guess, um, it was like getting two pairs of glasses for free. And then after my insurance paid what they paid on the first pair, I just had to pay the difference. So it was a bargain. <laughs> and I got um, the two pairs of glasses I got are identical because I figured if one broke, I could use the parts to fix it. You know, with the supply chain, I just thought it would be the smart thing to do. But anyway, I'm gonna go pick up my glasses and then I need to go to the bank and get some money for our trip this weekend. And I think that's it. I think that's all the running around I need to do. And then I need to get home and pack. Well, we're here. I just got a phone call and they said my glasses are in. So I'm just gonna stop by and pick them up. Well, we just picked up my glasses. I got two pairs of regular glasses and then a pair of sunglasses. pretty day today. Whew. We stopped by the bank and we're going to pull out some cash. I never have cash on me uh, at all. So we're going to pull out some cash for our trip tomorrow. Uh, we're going to Boston. Here's my regular pair of glasses and my sunglasses. And these are prescription. I love them. It's my first prescription sunglasses. I can read and see. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get packed now. All right, I think I got everything packed. Oh, what a relief. Some of you guys asked me about our dinner club, so I was just gonna show you what we had this past week. I had a few questions about our dinner club, and every week the chef picks a new country and then he does a three-course dinner. This is what we had this week, it was Italy. 
it costs $25 a person and then he always pairs it with a wine that's optional. So I'll show you what our dinner looked like this week. We are here for our dinner. I love that house across the street. Um, the hotel here is so beautiful. I just love coming here. Here's the focaccia and it's served with olive oil and some balsamic vinegar and it's really delicious. And this is the appetizer, the meatballs, tomato sauce. And I guess the cheese, I'm not familiar with this cheese, but I'm gonna try it tonight. And there it is, it smells divine. I like the platter clean. <laughs> it was delicious. Normally I don't like other people's red sauce, but this was really super yummy, you guys. Really good. The presentation on this is just beautiful, and I wish I had smell-o-vision because it smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Dessert is a ricotta cheesecake with a raspberry sauce and fresh raspberries on the side. It looks delish. Well, dinner was fabulous. It was so good, you guys. And I didn't have to do dishes or clean up the kitchen or cook or nothing. Anyway, we're headed home now. It's wonderful that we have snow on the ground, but it's really warm. And there was a huge crowd here tonight. Um, just about every seat was taken. And um, I can see why, delicious. Anyway, we're headed home. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, I wanna get a good night's sleep because we're getting up early tomorrow and we're heading out to Boston, so. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.